Greetings! This is Emily Bolinas with World Mission Communications News Manila. It has been an exciting week in missions here on the Asia-Pacific region. On the Melanesia South Pacific field, Kujip Nazarene Hospital announced that the official opening date for their hydroelectric project has been set for April 30, 2014. Ground was broken on the project in June of 2012 and now, almost two years and more than 30,000 bags of cement later, the 256 kVA hydroelectric plant will be providing a source of safe, affordable, and reliable electricity to the Nazarene Hospital. Dr. Scott Dooley, hospital administrator, indicated that the funding for the project was truly a loaves and fishes moment for those who watched it unfold. But even more than the financial miracle was the miraculous movement of the Holy Spirit as those involved with the construction felt lead to hold a revival service among the workers and the neighboring villages. Those present at the service reported that the altars were lined with more than 100 giving their hearts to Christ. God is on the move in Papua New Guinea. Speaking of on the move, the Myanmar district celebrated its 30th district assembly over the weekend of March 15 to 16. This is truly a miracle as the borders of this country have really been only open since 2010. In 1961, the Lord saved a 17-year-old Burmese man named Robin who would later travel to India to pursue Bible school on to California to attend Fuller University and then back to Myanmar where he would work to plant the Church of the Nazarene in 1984. Now, 30 years later, with more than 2,000 members and an established branch of the Southeast Asian Nazarene Bible College located in Yangon, God is moving and growing His Church in Myanmar. Boats are on the move in the Philippines. On November 8, Super Typhoon Yolanda struck the central Philippines, leaving an unprecedented path of destruction. Many of our Nazarenes, who relied on fishing for their support, found their boats destroyed and their livelihoods gone. During a visit to the Typhoon Zone, members of the Metro Manila District witnessed the need for livelihood restoration and pledged their support. Bobet Cruz, a layman from Antipolo First Church of the Nazarene, conceptualized and resourced a simple motorized boat. The project was presented to the district and funds were raised for 10 boats, with the Japan District partnering for additional boats. On March 8, a group of men from three churches on the Metro Manila District gathered for test runs of the first prototype. Other than some minor adjustments, the boat performed well and large-scale building of the boats has begun at the campus of Asia-Pacific Nazarene Theological Seminary. These boats will be a huge blessing to the lives of our Nazarene brothers and sisters impacted by the typhoon. For detailed information on these stories and more, you can visit our websites. Thank you for your ongoing prayers and partnership as together with you, we are making a kingdom impact.